this beautiful ballerina cookie and also how I decorate it. So I am going to leave you some other links on how I decorate some other ballerina cookies. As you may know, I love ballerina cookies. You are going to need a lot of sprinkles and sanding sugars and the cookie is gonna look super, super cute that I bet that your ballerina girl in your life will enjoy it. So I'm so excited and let's get started. You will need to prepare your favorite sugar cookie recipe and also you are going to need a ballerina fairy cookie cutter. What I like about this is that they are very flexible so you can take out your cookie dough easily if you expand a little bit your cookie cutter. So first you need to put it in a little bit of flour. Last night, I made my cookie dough and I just took it out from the fridge like 10 minutes ago. And it's looking pretty good to cut out my cookies. I like to press the cookie cutter very hard so all the shape will be stamped on my cookie dough. I put extra pressure in the intricate parts of the cookie cutters like the head, the wings and the legs. Now, very carefully, take out all the extra cookie dough and transfer it, your cookies to your baking sheet. You're gonna bake your cookies at 350 Fahrenheit degrees for 10 to 13 minutes. start by making the cookie design. Then I will prepare the consistency icings that I will use and tint the icings in the colors that I plan ahead in my design. In the description box below you also can find the link for the recipe for the royal icing. So now that I have my design ready I'm gonna start by outlining my cookie with the decorating tip number 1.5 medium consistency icing. For the wings I'm going to put some silver edible glitter and I'm going to start with that part. to need a little bit of copper or flesh tone icing and I'm gonna start decorating the face, the arms, the tights and later on I'm going to start decorating the beautiful tutu. I like to thin my flesh tone icing mixing equal parts of copper and ivory food gel color. It is always good to use a toothpick on a needle, a sterilized needle obviously, to drag the icing to the little corners and pop up the bubbles. Now it's time to decorate the tutu of this beautiful ballerina fairy. For this I will use three colors, teal, sage green, and bright pink. First I'm gonna add the teal icing in the bottom of the tutu. And then I'm gonna put the sage icing in the tutu. Now we're gonna let it dry. I will start 
start adding the magical touches to this beautiful ballerina cookie. And I'm going to use medium consistency icing in teal. I love ballet and watching my girl dancing for so many years inspired me to start making ballerina cookies. Adding sandy sugar and silver degrees add a lot of dimension to the tutu. Every time I see a tutu, it seems to me that it's made out of sugar, and I think that adding sandy sugar to the tutu, it seems to me that it's made out of tulle. Adding edible glitter and a lot of sprinkles can take your cookies to another dimension. Well, at least that is what I think. And I think so that the little girls must agree with me. I think this fairy needs a little bit more of magic. Let's add some more degrees. To make the point shoes, you can make them using edible markers or you can put ice in too. It's up to you. Now let's add a little bit of details. I am going to use this icing to make a little perka dot. Also, I'm going to put a little bit of this same icing in the crown of this fairy. Now, I am going to use edible markers to make the face. Now let's dry this beautiful fairy and it will be stage ready.
enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget that I will leave you the links in the description box below where you can find these cookie cutters and if you have any question, comment or suggestion, please let me know if you're new here on my channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, follow me on my social media and don't forget to be always very creative in all your baking and your cookie decorating and see you until next time. Bye bye!